brightly cloudy. And uh, the reason I say this, I've been involved with Internet Matters uh, going back working as counsel to uh, Sienna Rise, the shortened version of Corporation for National Research Initiatives. And this is back in the 80s. The principal uh, that I was reporting to was Vince Cerf and Bob Kahn, who brought you the TCPIP. And at that time, the internet uh, was a government facility. And it was many years later that uh, it was helped moved out by CNRI, where we set up the IETF and the ISOC to help socialize and, and evolve the internet to more commercial and private level. In those days, there were very few users because it was mostly a government facility and, and that was mostly universities to a broadened environment. And today, coming to the WTPF 2013, it's open to a much broader community. So looking at what's happened in, in historically such a very short period of time is, is completely blue sky, big smiles. But the reason I say there's a cloud is that a lot of folks don't have access yet. A lot of folks may not have the proper uh, support to know how to write the software to develop their local content so that they don't know how to manage their own information resources. And I think there's a, there's a need for support in that area. Uh, but I think eventually, and I've heard various folks talk about that in the WISIS part, the WISIS part of uh, the two gatherings here in Geneva, that there is a certain perception of the need for that. So does it have a rosy future? Yes, I think it does. But I think we have to help other folks to actually accommodate uh, their own needs on a local basis.